those people didn't get lucky they just work harder than you you ever notice that person that just gets everything they get the partner they get the money they get the cars they get the house they get the opportunities they always get good grades in school they always did good in sports you know those motherfuckers they just look like they win in everything no matter what area they run into they didn't get lucky they weren't just given all of that success it's because they actually put 110 120 130 percent effort into everything they fucking did they didn't get lucky they're just better than you they work harder than you they're willing to do things that you fucking aren't you guys want the recipe for success do you want to hear what it is the secret it's effort times consistency for the next 10 years there you go effort and consistency for the next 10 years now don't get me wrong that doesn't mean you're going to become a millionaire if you put effort and consistency into being a fucking burger flipper at walmart or mcdonald's you got to find the right path obviously but that's the recipe for success a lot of you guys are looking for the shortcut and you think that other people just caught a break when usually they didn't they just worked harder every single thing that they did from the math test to the schoolwork to the sports to the job they put 110 to 30 to 50 percent effort in when you complained and whined and bitched when i was an iron worker i worked as hard as i could every fucking day i would skip breaks to keep working i would skip lunch to keep working and it would piss off the other people because they just wanted to go take a break in the fucking office and don't get me wrong it's not like i was getting paid more from the company it's not like i own the company i just reached a point where i had pride in what i was doing i liked working i liked working with my hands i still have pride in today driving through calgary alberta being like i built that i built that i built that it feels cool i put effort into what i was doing now, don't get me wrong, I got set down a wrong path, a bad path in that job. And that's why I said you got to pick the right path in order to see the success you want to see. Because I took that same effort, that same consistency, that same drive, and I put it into fitness coaching. I put it into fitness in general. And now look where I am. Eight years later, so I actually hacked the recipe and cut off two years of time. But eight years later, I'm living my fucking dream life. I went from a drug addict iron worker to a seven figure CEO before the age of 30 due to that recipe, due to that equation. Those people that you keep looking up to and bitching about, those people that you keep saying got lucky, those people that you keep saying caught a break, those people that you keep saying had it easier than you didn't. They just put harder work in. I don't know where this saying came from, but obviously it's not my quote and I'm going to say it for you. A lot of you guys drastically overestimate what you could do in a year, but drastically underestimate what you could do in a decade. If you stop thinking in 365 days and you start thinking in 10 years, you would be shocked at how crazy your life could change. I had no idea I would be living this life right now. West Kelowna just got hit with a massive fire. I'm talking about fucking massive guys. I even sent Daniel to a hotel in Vancouver because homie was puking in the house. He was looking after my puppy and I was fucking scared for him, scared for his girl, scared for my dog because we were out of the fucking country. You see, we were in Toronto, Canada and bam, Kelowna gets hit with a fire and I'm watching my city burn. I'm talking about 2,500 individuals evacuated from their homes, over 70 structures burned to the ground. We're not even there. Went from Toronto to Thunder Bay so my baby boy can meet my grandma. That's a story for another time that I would love to share with you guys. Then we flew back to Toronto. We were supposed to go back to Kelowna, but the fires were still atrocious and the smoke was fucking horrible. So when we sent Daniel to Vancouver, I took Julia and Cade to New York City, which is a city that we fucking always wanted to go to. I didn't even think about it. The money just came out of my account for all that shit. Didn't even think about it. Didn't even flinch. And 10 years ago, I would have never thought I'd been able to do that. I probably would have just went home way sooner because we wouldn't have had the money to do all of those trips in the first place. But because I stopped thinking in 365 days, because I stopped thinking in a year and I started thinking in decades, I'm now able to do that. I was sitting down with Julia in New York. Both of us had gratitude tears in our eyes. And I was like, I never thought our life would be like this. And Julia's like, neither did I. She's like, I never thought this would be my life. She always wanted freedom. She always wanted to be able to travel. She always wanted to be able to do what we are doing now, but she never thought this would be her life. And I never thought this would be my life. But I stopped thinking in years and I started thinking in decades. And I embraced effort and consistency plus 10 years. Not effort and consistency for three fucking months. Not effort and consistency for six fucking months. Not effort and consistency for a year and then bitch and whine and complain that you didn't get anywhere. 10 years. 
Think about what you want your life to look like in 10 years. Then ask yourself subjectively, is this path going to get me there? You want to be a millionaire and you're flipping burgers at Walmart. I know I was going to say McDonald's, but I fucked up anyway. So we're just going to keep rolling with it. You're flipping burgers at Walmart. You think that's going to make you a millionaire? Probably not. So adjust your path, audit your path, look at your path subjectively, and then really ask yourself, what do I want in 10 years? Now, what do I need to do to get it? What do I need to do to achieve it? Stop thinking in right now and start thinking about where you want to be in the future. And then every single fucking day you show up for work, every single day you show up for your relationship, every single day you show up in the gym, show up for your kids, show up for your social media, show up for anything, give 110, 20, 30, 40, 50% effort. Go as hard as you can. Leave it all on the fucking table. Fuck the word burnout. Fuck the word rest. Fuck the word sleep until you achieve your goals. There's going to be a lot of people that don't agree with that mindset. There's going to be a lot of people that don't understand that mindset and then will tell you that you need rest and there's no balance in that life. Motherfucker, I would rather live 10 years with no balance than live an entire life with balance and not get to where I want to be. There are millions of people on a daily basis that die because they chose balance instead of the grind. And then they regret their entire life because they never achieved their dreams. They lived on the mindset of, let me request two vacation days a year to go to the place that I want to be. When I go over the fuck I want, when I want, no matter what, because of that success equation, consistency plus effort for the next 10 fucking years. Stop thinking about the quick fix, audit your timeline and audit your path and go all fucking in no matter what the task is.